Salix as a company stand for attention to detail, making bats as well as we possibly can. to stay true to the um, traditions that we've grown up with. It's important to us that although we're going to always um, bring new technology and new techniques into um, the way that we make the bats, the core values that we believe in and that um, I've learnt and um, grown up with, we stay true to those um, elements in bat making as well. Attention to detail enables you to assess the quality of each piece of wood. If you've got a grade one and you're hoping to make a, a top grade bat out of it, unless you really work carefully with the wood, there's every chance that you can lose that grade, that maybe a mark will be uncovered, maybe there's something under the um, surface of the wood that you don't know is there. So unless you're constantly grading and, and also aware of potentially what's going to be uncovered, you can spend a lot of money on grade ones and find that you end up making grade twos or worse still grade threes. Certainly is a preconception that willow is um, a durable timber. It, it isn't, it's a very soft timber. Unless we press the um, blades of the bats, and we're putting up to three tons per square inch on the face of the bats, the wood just would not stand up to the punishment of a cricket ball. When you're also confronted with poor quality balls, and when I say a poor quality ball, I mean something that's got a very hard centre. A bat costing 250 pounds, approaching 300 pounds, and a cheap cricket ball just don't go um, together. And the only thing that suffers is the bat. I'm loath to say that um, we do things better or we are better than um, other companies, I, it, it isn't the case, but we do make a limited number. We only buy grade ones and twos, um, so in that respect we are always working with um, top end um, materials um, and of course it comes down to the characters involved. I mean, some people are able to um, just close their eyes to shoddy workmanship, I, I just find it impossible. We still believe in, in oiling the bats and then facing the bats once they've been oiled and also knock the bat in with a good quality ball, um, throw downs, catching practice, outfield practice. I, I know it's time consuming but you're getting used to the pickup, you're getting used to the new bat. When you're batting with it in the middle hopefully the time that you've spent just practicing with it will enable you to actually find the middle probably easier than um, actually just going straight from an old bat to your new bat and then um, expecting to score runs. Thank you.